So, you've procrastinated, right? Don't worry, so have I. In fact, it's been over five months since I last worked on my app. Five whole months. That's the longest I've gone without building something of my own, and I think that's a problem. So that's why I'm giving myself 24 hours to build something new, no turning back. Because the number one question I get asked is, what project should I build to stand out? So today we're gonna be doing something different. A challenge, a race against the clock. Let's break down some ground rules. Rule number one, it has to be personal. I can't just go grab some random UC Berkeley data set online. This project has to matter to me. Rule number two, no LLM wrappers. I can't just slap an API on top of OpenAI and call it a day. This actually needs to be thought through. And finally, the most important rule, a 24 hour time limit. That means I only have one day to build this thing from start to finish, so I have to be quick. But before I even start coding, I need an idea. And that means I need to get out of here. So before we get going, I wanted to break this video down into the parts that I'm planning right now. So it's gonna be the ideation phase, which is where we're currently in. Before we touch any IDE or any code, uh, we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do in terms of project or app building. Uh, and this could be like idea for the data sets, where we're gonna get the data, ideas for how we're gonna implement stuff, the technologies we're gonna use, and you know the machine learning aspect of it. Then after that, we can start writing code, start getting our hands dirty with deployment and stuff like that when we reach that stage. And then the final part, the part I'm most excited for, which is the presentation. That's all I'll be showcasing the final product to you guys, hopefully. So stay tuned for that. I don't think I'll be recording too much at this cafe just because there's probably gonna be a lot of people and I don't want to disturb them, uh, but I'll catch you guys back when I get home. So I just got back and I have a couple ideas of what I want to work on for this project. Uh, one of them is related to health and fitness and the other one is related to finance. And like I said before, since this has to be personal to me, both of these projects will be using my personal data. Now I'm trying to decide between which one I should choose, but uh, the restrictions here are the 24 hour time limit and how much data processing or data cleaning I would have to do. I'm very familiar with my own finance data, however, with my like Apple Health, Apple Fitness data that I track with my Apple Watch. I don't know how exactly the data is stored or where it's stored, how to get it out, and you know how to get the columns or data that I need, which would probably be like heart rate, um, you know, run exercises, the miles, the time. Uh, the goal for that project is to predict the probability of me finishing my marathon, which is on April 27th on time and on time being my goal. And also on top of that, I would like to use my historical uh, training data, my running data, and even my historical marathons data. I've run half marathons and I did a full marathon earlier this year to see uh, what training plan would work best for me uh, with the 30-ish days that I have left uh, to prepare for this marathon. The finance project that I was talking about uh, is more so related to investing and saving. Uh, I currently use Google Sheets. I use a template from Daniel Braun to store all my finance data and it's been working for the past two years or so but I think it's about time I move that to something more concrete, something more secure with better visuals, better, uh, I guess, machine learning corporations that can actually tell me if I'm trending uh, positive, trending negative in terms of my retirement goals and stuff like that. So uh, that data I have in like Google Sheets, Excel files, which I can pretty easily port over and use Python to group them, aggregate them, and predict the probability of me hitting my monthly investment goals and also how the, like, I guess, net positive or net negative will impact my retirement goal uh, based on specific like calculations, assuming like specific uh, returns over a period of time and a set uh, amount of money that I need to retire or a set age 
and work backwards from there. I know it's a little bit confusing. I still have all this in my head. So I'm gonna try and write it down on a piece of paper or something and decide which one might be better or more efficient for this specific project uh, and we can work from there. So I'll see you guys back in a bit. So since we last spoke, I kind of narrowed down what I want to do. Uh, and I think I'm going to lean towards the finance project just because I looked into the data from the Apple like uh, ecosystem, the health data, and it's kind of messy. It's a lot of data. It's a lot of events. And I, I need to specifically pipe down the events I need. Uh, and I don't know how realistic it is to do all that in the specific 24-hour challenge. Uh, I will still probably work on that some other time. But for today, I think I'm going to just use the uh, two-ish years of data I have for finances and try to create a simple app that I can use, my wife can use. Uh, and one of the project goals is to deploy this, by the way. So I would have to find a way to deploy this uh, to an environment where we can use it not just on local hosts, we can use it on our phones, on our computers and stuff like that externally. And my family and friends can use it too. So we did the ideation part and now we're gonna work on the implementation part. I'm gonna start with uh, a Python notebook, pull in the data, group them, aggregate them, and then try to see what I can do in terms of modeling. Uh, it's probably gonna be like a simple linear regression or a random forest or something like that. Um, and then see what's the best way to deploy this. I'm thinking for the front end uh, or just for the app, I'm gonna use Next.js, deploy it on Vercel, but for the back end, uh, it's either gonna be like fast API or something like that. And I can use, uh, I don't know, Heroku or Python anywhere, something like that to deploy the back end. Uh, I haven't really decided all that just yet. So I'm gonna start with just deciding if this concept is gonna work and then move forward from there. I do have a couple ideas on what I want on the app though for this. I specifically have been really interested in Sankey charts. And for those of you who don't know what a Sankey chart is, you will find out pretty soon, uh, especially when it comes to like finances. I don't know why it's just interesting for me to visualize where my money is going and how it's being saved or spent. Um, and I just think uh, this will be something cool to add on the chart. And also I wanna see stuff like the investment portfolio and stuff like that. Uh, and maybe even you know some line graphs or, or bar graphs to see distribution on categories and uh, you know how much I spend on a given day. I do know the way I, I track my finances, it's not really systematic. It's based on like credit card statements. So uh, maybe it's not gonna be too, too accurate, but that's just what I have to deal with for right now. Anyway, I'm gonna try and get all the files organized before I even create that notebook. Uh, I have a couple hours left in the day to work on this and I think for the most part, I'll be able to get an MVP done by end of day. It might not look the prettiest, but the goal of this project is to just get started, get going, and motivate you guys to start too. All right, so here's what I have so far. Uh, it's just a really simple UI. Hopefully you guys can see uh, what it looks like, but it's nothing crazy. It's just a simple UI where you can add your salary, let's just say 12,000 for the month, or let's call that W2, and then 12,000 is the amount right there. Um, and then your CSV for expenses, and I'm just gonna put a uh, random CSV, and it has to follow a specific format. I'm using like amount spent, uh, category, and stuff like that. I'm also using a simple clustering model to cluster needs and wants, uh, and then everything else here is just categorical. Uh, so right now, all it does, it shows the UI of how much you made, how much you spent, and the percent saved, uh, and then the Sankey chart, which I think is pretty cool, uh, kind of showing you where your money went. Uh, I do plan on adding this uh, linear regression and uh, random forest model that I trained uh, onto, uh, I guess, the app. I do need to deploy it somehow. I'm thinking I'm using like Fast API uh, with like Railway or Render. And for those of you who don't know, that's just a way you can deploy a Python backend. Uh, I'm using Next.js for the front end. It's literally super simple front end. It's not even, I plan on updating this if I have time with Chad CN components, make it prettier, make it more organized, make the flow better. Uh, but yeah, that's what I have so far. It's going pretty well. I do need to figure out a free way to, I guess, deploy the back end though, because this is gonna be, I have a pay plan, but I don't wanna use that for this, just to encourage you guys to also try uh, and deploy something, productionize something, build an end-to-end -end machine learning app. Um, so yeah, I'll let you guys know how that goes.
the next morning and I am pretty happy with what we got so far. However, I do have a couple things I want to change and uh, I guess improve mostly UI base, some functionality. Um, and I think I mentioned most of them yesterday, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. However, I do want to highlight a couple things. Number one, uh, this is not meant to be a flex at all. This video is essentially just for me to get up, get my ass up and actually start working again. And number two, motivate you guys to do the same. And also the other thing I wanted to mention is if you guys want a full technical detail breakdown on how I did this, the deployment method, the productionizing stuff, uh, and the whole backend, uh, happy to do that in a separate video. I just need you guys to let me know what you guys want to see so I can focus on that in the next video. So yeah, let me know down in the comment section below and we will see what we can do. But as we're getting closer to the presentation, uh, I'm kind of thinking about what else other people could use because this model was trained on my data. So I'm trying to find a ways to generalize it uh, before the final presentation. So stay tuned. I'm going to do some tweaks and I'll see you guys in a bit. Also, I don't even drink coffee, but uh, it was a couple uh, long hours yesterday and it's pretty early today too. So uh, I decided to whip up a cup and uh, drink and showcase this special cup I got from a friend. So yeah. <laughs> So welcome to the presentation. Okay, that was lame. Anyway, uh, I wanted to share some of the stuff that I've been working on the past two days. Uh, and I kind of have a before and after um, since I last, I guess, talked to you guys. Uh, essentially, I worked on the UI a little bit more. I added a couple things. Uh, and I worked with V0, which for you guys who don't know, uh, Vercel has this thing called V0. Vercel is, the, I guess, the owner or creator of Next.js, uh, which is a way you can, I guess, update your UI, create MVPs and stuff like that. And I didn't realize how good it was at you know, improving UI. So I don't really have to go through the nitty gritty of finding good pieces or coding it from scratch. Uh, it, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it uses all of Shad CN's components. So uh, that's what I did since last night. But this is how the project looked like yesterday. Um, let me just refresh it so you guys can see what I'm doing. Essentially, you would put in your income, let's just say W2 flat income. And let's just say that's $10,000 a month. Obviously here, you would probably want to segment this based on how many income sources or income streams you have. Uh, so maybe you have W2 affiliate or side hustle, whatnot. And then you would go ahead and upload your CSV. Uh, in my case, it's gonna be a random month's expense. Obviously don't take this uh, as it is. This is just sample data that I'm using for this project, but you can see here the Sankey chart that goes from income uh, to your saves versus expenses and based on each category. It also has like basic metrics up top, percent saved, and this is all just basic UI, basic Next.js stuff. And at the bottom here, there's this predict investment button that essentially predicts uh, the prop or the amount you're gonna forecast it to invest this month. So based on my historical investments, based on my historical income, based on my historical expenses, and based on the number of days left in the month, what does it think I'm going to invest? And this model assumes that uh, I invest only at the end of the month, uh, which I just hard coded that just for the purposes of this project because of the time limit. Uh, but yeah, let's see what it says. And because I'm using the free version of render, it takes a couple seconds for it to load. And the model here says that I'm going to invest $3,500, which uh, it was trained on my personal data. So this might not work for you, which is why I'm not gonna release it just yet. Uh, I might have to generalize it or train it with, or give you guys options to train it with your own data. Uh, but for the training data set that I provided, it performed pretty well. And like I said, this is the old UI. I updated a lot of this stuff uh, last night. This is how the new UI looks like. Uh, again, most of the UI was done by V0. Uh, I'll give it some credit. So go, go ahead and check it out if you guys are looking to do something like this with Next.js. Uh, it does a pretty good job of getting uh, a good, like, you know, minimalistic, uh, modern feel for your layout. So let's just say I have two types of income. Uh, let's say W2 is 10,000. Uh, let's just say affiliate as a thousand, uh, let's just say YouTube as a thousand. And then let's upload CSV. So the CSV we're gonna upload is this one. And then I briefly mentioned before about the changes I added, uh, but this one gives you more, I guess, better visuals. You still get the same amount of like total income, expenses, saving rate, it's basic math. And then it also gives you a daily breakdown of how much you spent, uh, what days you spent more, what days you spent less. Uh, and then you have a better Sankey chart in my opinion, just the way it looks is better, the colors, the distribution. Uh, and then you also have the categorical spend. This is based on a, a template that I provided. Uh, essentially, it gives you uh, green and red to show you how much you've overspent, how much you spent below and stuff like that. It shows you what your most expensive expenses are and stuff like that. So this is helpful for me. And then the machine learning component, which is the investment prediction. This one was much faster only because I already activated the backend since I predicted earlier. 
but it shows the predicted investment as 3,800, so slightly different from the one before. That's just because the income here is slightly higher. Uh, the accuracy for this model was okay for was it okay for my standards for productionizing this. However, if this was a bigger scale project, I'd probably spend a lot more time uh, just with the machine learning side of the house. I also added this uh, CSV format, which is just a dialog uh, that kind of shows you how the, uh, the the I guess the code expects you to upload your data, because if you're gonna use this, which again, I don't think I'm gonna expose this to everyone just yet, probably just family and friends. Uh, this is the, the layout it expects in terms of CSV. Uh, essentially, all I use is just the category, the amount paid and the date. But if you do wanna take this a step further, which I do plan on taking this a step further, uh, the current expense, the vendor, and stuff like that will come in handy. So just let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I am very interested in uh, working on this project a little bit more in depth, uh, just because I'm in the need of something better than just Google Sheets, maybe a dashboard, maybe a whole app dedicated to this, maybe something that scrapes your credit card statements and stuff like that. I don't know yet. I don't know how logistically that's gonna work just because it's PII, there's a lot of financial data. So it could be risky. However, just for my usage, just for like me personally, I think this could be something that I will spend a couple hours a week on. Uh, but if you guys are looking for the full breakdown on how I developed this, how I came from ideation to implementation to deployment, let me know down in the comment section below. I'd be happy to make a video talking about the technical stuff that went behind this. Uh, it was between a classification project or a, a regression project, and I ended up going with this regression project. And the machine learning aspect was trained based on my personal data, and then I deployed it uh, the front end was Next.js on Vercel, and the back end was True Fast API on Render. Uh, so it was pretty simple, pretty easy, but next time in the future, I might take this a step further and do uh, MLflow deployment, deployment so that I can run experiments and uh, just monitor model drift over time. And if this is a general, like a generalized thing where multiple people are using it, uh, that, that's gonna be a needed, uh, I guess, system just to monitor the model's performance since it's gonna be a real life impact on other people's life. So yeah, like I said before, I hope this encourages you to deploy something of your own. It doesn't have to be that complicated. It can be something simple. Uh, the whole process of deploying usually scares people. Productionizing something usually is intimidating for a lot of people, but that is something that is sought after for uh, data scientists, for machine learning engineers, for even software engineers. So get used to that. Doing projects like this might help you break that uh, barrier in your mind and actually get you to start doing the thing. Uh, so I hope I hope I encouraged you to do that. So yeah, I really hope you guys liked this one. If you did, do consider leaving a like down below and subscribing because that will help the channel out a lot. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.